Welcome back to another video. Today will be another coding video, and this time I'll try to code a little funny game. So this game is all about losing your keys in a room and trying to search every object in the room to find your keys. And for so for this one, I'll code this game. I just made this up and I've got this idea right now. So, enjoy. So, I'll need, probably need two classes, and the first one I'll be working on is the room object. And this will be like one object of the room. And and it could be any object, it would be furniture, or the floor, or anything around, or something like that. So, let's do this. So in the room object, I'll add a, uh, what is it called? Let's do a, t a string, private string. So, it's the name of the room, the name of the object, I mean, in the room. What else? Private, uh, 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 I'll do something like, what do you call? I'll just do this one. This one I'll know for sure you'll need because this is where I'll hide the keys. This is where it determines whether this object has the key or not. Has car keys. Uh, Boolean. Has car key. Contains keys. And I'll define those for now. Maybe I'll, I'll need more or something. And let's leave that it for now. And what I'll do is I'll add a constructor. So to make the room object, and I'll, I'll give it a name and I'll set it to false by default. Constructor. So whenever I create an object of type room object, it'll be, it'll have a name that I get to input and a boolean, which will be false as always. So private public room object and I'll take as input a string name this dot name equals name because I'll I get to name whatever object I, I could be either a closet be it a closet computer uh, a sofa or a lampshade or anything, whatever object in the living room. And I'll set the contains keys contains keys equals false because none of these objects, none of the objects will have the key by default, contain the car keys by default. Okay. And yeah, I guess that's it for now. Let's head to the lost car keys application. So I should have a method that creates, that creates that creates a, uh, what do you call, all of the objects of the, all of the room, like places all, place all of the furniture, create all of the furniture in the room, and yeah. So the world, what I'll do is that I will first try to do this. I'll define the type of an array of objects. 
an array of, let's see, array of room objects to store all of the objects in the room. So let's do it. Uh, a room object array all objects equals is that reversed yeah new room object let's do i'll try to do 10 there'll be 10 pieces of furniture i might change that but let's see and so what i'll do First of all, I'll make a note. List of all. Make, make list of all room objects. So what I'll do next is create all of the furniture and place it in a room. So just creating the objects. And fill this room object up in 10 up to 10 pieces of furniture I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna use a loop this time I am going to create all of the objects individually because I'll need to give each of them a name room So I have to put it in the array. Let's try this room object. Room object zero. Is that? I'm gonna create my first furniture. Close new room object and give it a name of. Let's do table. Since it's pretty common too for a living room to have a table. And yeah. Oh yeah. I overlooked this. I'll need a main method, of course. Oof. Oh. Main. I need a main method. Okay. Shove it in here. So, first, making a list of all room objects, making and then making each furniture. the room, the living room. For now, this game will be take place in the living room with all of the furniture here. So let's try to create nine more pieces of furniture. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And first, second one would be what I should call, what should I call, what should I call, uh, chair. Uh, wooden chair, I'll just call it wooden chair. Since it'll have multiple chairs, wooden chair, armchair, it'll have an armchair. And maybe call this one the love seat. Since might be love seats somewhere doesn't matter where the furniture is that it has to be in the room room object next one the next one the next one the next one ah uh, carpet what else this one is lampshade And it's kind of weird to hide the keys, to misplace your keys in the lampshade, but 
maybe you might get drunk and place the keys under lampshade but <laughs> yeah that's just a bit too much what else should i put maybe add flower pot indoor flower pot you might have a flower pot inside inside your living room add uh, and you should have try make sofas long sofa and right sofa or something like that or short sofa and then probably the last one should be uh what i what should I, what should a living room contain what else tv okay it's good to have to watch tv somewhere it's so chill watch one of my old coding videos or another episode of paranormal witness or some sort okay so i've made all the pieces of furniture maybe i missed some that's required but i'll just list all the furniture for the game all of the possible locations to hide the keys and what i'll do is i will make a method that hides the keys in a random location so first import java.util random and I'll have to make a random object a random object of random random RNG because I like to call random men random number generators RNG a random a random okay randomize and you know things can be random all right and yeah so now as i have my random thing imported i'm going to make a method that hides the keys in a random location so let's do this public static void hide keys so this method takes an input of, of the array which is the list of all room objects and i will my idea is to generate a random number. First, let's put the object here because I need to make it local here. My idea is that I will generate a random number between zero and the length of the array. So it is, it is a random number between zero and the last index of this array. So. Let's do this. Uh, all objects dot length. But first, first, what I'll do first, I'll come back to this method after. For that, I'll have to go into a set method. I'm going to do a getter and a setter. Set keys or something. So. Public Boolean. Uh, yeah, actually, public void because we're not going to return hide keys. Uh, set keys. And this dot contains keys equals true and that tells us that this particular object whatever object has the keys 
Okay. And also, get key, get uh, scan keys. Okay, something like that. Scan object. My idea is whether, whatever, if this object has the keys, it will be false. If it has, not if it doesn't. I mean, if it doesn't have the keys, it will be false. But if it contains the keys, if the keys are hidden here, it'll be true. And a leader have to retrieve this attribute. And uh, for it uh, to get the program know that this room has, this object has the keys. So public million uh, check if has keys. Or something or let's do it let's do it more of an action based type scan object or check object and return this that contains keys so as you check the object it will be either false or true depending uh if the this object has the keys or not okay so let's do it i am going to now go back to this method and hide the keys Just do object. Uh, let's call it locations here. Missing something, I don't know why. Uh, I might, I might have an error or something. Who knows? Well, I'm going to go back to it afterwards. So my idea is to get a random number, like as I re-explain this, and I'm going to use. Uh, I am going to find uh, set a random index whatever this index will be will be the random number and what what I'll do is just it will essentially take a random go pick a random furniture or location and s set the keys there or something and use this method here which will hide the keys and so locations dot and f wait, first I'll have to get the ng.nextint, almost forgot that, and the download will be 10. Uh, why did I put it here? It should have been empty. Okay. That should good. That should work. What I'll do is locations dot location equals what I'll what did I do? And oh yeah. It's gonna it's gonna use the set keys method. And you know what happened? What I what error I made? I made a mistake again. This method right here is I accidentally put it inside. I actually, actually, I accidentally nested in my main method. Ouch. So, it has to be outside. Ouch. Because I was busy writing a comment here and making, making me convinced that, convincing me that it's in, it's not in the main method. Ouch. Okay. 
All right. So this method kind of hides the keys. Picking a random furniture using a random number generator picks the random index and essentially sets uses this method on one of the objects of room object sets the keys to true all right so what i'll do ouch i moved something and my head's my headphones it's pretty annoying that my headphones are in the way to reach my mouse, but the wires are really annoying me, so I have to move them. Okay, so I got my method here, hides the keys. What I'll do is I will print, I'll get it, I will, uh, what do you call it? I will, I will make a method. I'll now make a method that lists all the possible locations of the room or furniture or something so that it'll get the user it'll get the player know all of the furniture the keys are the, the key is possibly hidden in so so yeah public static void it's not gonna return anything or any value print all locations and once again it's gonna take an input of locations because I will or no yeah it's gonna take an input just printing them printing all of the objects before before I write some code in here I forgot to do something here. I'm gonna override the do string to print the object out, any object of the room. To string overriding. Oops, I misspelled that. I misspelled that. And this will just print the name of the room or something. Or the why do I always call it the same room? It should have been object or furniture because location public stream to stream Now, as I have the two string method ready, I'm going to do printing all objects. I'll print all objects. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll write them a for loop for int i equals zero. All right, it's less than then locations dot length and plus plus. Essentially, it's just printing all of the lines all of the lines of the, all of the possible possible uh, what do you call it? possible objects so for now let's do it let's do sys out printing print uh, empty string Oops. what I'll do so what I'll do is that every furniture, I will do a numbered list from starting from the first furniture or location to the last. And what I'll do is I'll do a numbered list. All right, plus one, because eventually I'll have to get the user input numbers for something in order to make the user check the furniture or something. 
so when the game actually runs. So I'll have a tab here, colon tab, and and then after that it will be the location, which would be essentially locations dot i, which is an object. Each each value of that array is room object. So I will also add a new line like that. And yeah, this will print a new line every time I print a list. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll just run for run it. I'm just gonna run the game out by just calling the print calling the objects and making the furniture and I'm gonna print it to see if it works or not so let's do it print all locations and all objects so yeah now let's see if it works And I got an, an error, which pretty sucks. Pretty, this pretty sucks. It sucks. This sucks. It sucks. Oh yeah. I don't know why I put room object. It should have been the name of the array. That is a big mistake. Ouch. I am going to now do a replacing. Place it with all objects. Yes, yeah, so I don't have to deal with the hassle of copy and pasting stuff. That should do. Let's try now. So, yeah, here. E this is the list of all of the possible, uh, possible, possible furniture and, or locations. Actually, I'll need a new line. I'll just leave that, remove that, it's to make the list more compact. Now, there it is. So this is the list of all the possible stuff. And this list will be printed every time the user or the player Searches for once it has to make a decision. Okay. All right. So now, what I'll do is actually hide the keys. Now I'll call the method hide the keys. Actually hide the keys, and using this array of room object. actually picks hide the key which is the main part of the game hide the car keys all right so now now the fun part begins, as I already hid the keys, and I've got a list ready to print. Now, what I'll do is that I'll actually make a loop that will run as long as the keys aren't found. So, let's do it. Boolean found keys equals false. And I'm going to do a while loop. So, actual game running. 
while. And let's do found keys is not equal to true. And I'll do braces here. I'm going to now do. I'm going to do a sysout print a message. Where do you want to go? Enter a number. And then to, in, to, go, to search for the following. In the following way. In the following ooh, locations. Yeah. And I'll do a list. Action print the list. Print all locations. Every time every time I ask this, I'll have to print the list so that to make sure to the user knows which one because it's an option these are the list of options okay so the user for input. input equals in dot next int next int get the next integer Oops. I have missed something next int there we go and I'll have I'll first check I'll first check it. First. I'm gonna also do an in loop because if the user enters uh, a number that's out of the list, outside of the list, I will, uh, I am going to throw an error. To Repomped or something. Greater than zero. And and location input is less than or equal to the length. Or less than then. All objects. If the user inputs a inputs a a bad input, so just we'll just run. If the user inputs a bad input outside the range, oops. Or has to be or. Uh, 
less than or equal to zero because it doesn't include zero. Less than or equal because we include 10. So what this loop is, if the player enters a bad location, just reprompt, that's all. And now, once I get the user input, the, the, uh, the location or the option, I will do, I'll now do sysout. You searched for the locate, you searched around, let's say around, around at, could be under, imagine, imagine if, if, you, if I would put in the carpet, it would not make sense. So I'll just say you searched around at that particular location and to get the location, I'll just do uh, 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 the Plus, what they call all objects. Dot location in location input because that's the input. And actually, it has to be I. It has to be input minus one because it is shifted by one. The inputs there. Are shifted by one which index is one less than the actual input so let's do that I put here, here you go minus one so yeah and so now I'm going to check I'm gonna make an if statement. Check if it check if that location has the keys or not. Or not. And that's where the magic because lies in here. So if all objects uh, location input minus one dot get uh, scan uh, method name I'm gonna call this method check object check object and which returns a boolean I'm gonna say found keys will be true and that will mean that he has found the, he has found the keys and once this is true, this will exit the loop and the game will end. So, what is, what should I do? Found keys equals true. And what, I, what I'm gonna do is I will, I will, uh, well, what I'll do is I will uh, print a message, sys out something you have found the keys they are located in uh, in around I'm not gonna do that in the in confusion yet again and I'll do that. Okay, found keys equals true. Did 
think I actually use this. doesn't have the keys I'll just print a message sis out the keys are nowhere to be found so that's gonna work and if once the loop exits I'm going to print out the message so and then here at the end, sys out, I'll create a sys out saying that you win or something like that. You managed to find your pesky car keys. Now you can drive outside your house. Horse house. Oops. Okay, so now I'll try it. Now I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to run this program to see if it works again. And exception. There. Found keys. I forgot to. I forgot to. Oops, it is here. Yeah, I didn't capitalize the K. And another freaking exception. Why is that? All objects. 75. Locations. Just doing some random fixing. There you go. And first, one more thing. I forgot to remove this because I want to print the list only once and every once. Exception. Okay, now it should work. Okay. Oh, first, before I begin, I'm going to print out the introduction. This is out. So I'll make an introduction, don't worry, it's gonna come, the testing will come, don't worry. You want to go out, you want, you wanted to go outside, but somehow you manage to lose your Car keys once again. <clears throat> and you wonder how you lost, you keep losing your keys like it's your your normal it's time to find them all right
new line there. I believe I made an error here. I missed something up. Just trying to see here. gonna come I'm almost there unresolved compilation words he wants to go outside oh my goodness that sucks. I put it outside my main method. Shame on me. Ouch. Okay, almost there. Almost there. It should work now. So now. There we go. Let's clear that up. And now I got it here. Okay, so you wanted to go outside, but somehow you managed to lose your car keys once again. You wondered how you keep losing keys like it's your normal. It's time to find them. Where do you want to go? Enter a number to search in the following options. Zero. Okay, ouch. Val location. I'll try to find, look at, look at the table. You searched around at the table. The keys are nowhere to be found. What? I don't know why I won here. I should have have to fix something here. I should have uh Because if the it if the if the room object has no key con doesn't contain a key it should stay in a loop so I don't know why the loop has exited which I don't want so I have to find an error by the way I guess I found found my error here. It was still in the loop. Now let's try it again. I keep making those silly mistakes. Okay, now I'm going to now search, first search the table. The keys are in order to be found. Where do you want to go? He searched around the table for I look there, the table doesn't have the keys. I'll try 11. Nope. I'll try to find the TV. Look around the TV. Oh, you searched around at the TV. You found the keys. You're located at, around at that TV. Ouch. There you go. You win. You managed to find your pesky car keys. Okay, now. Now, what I'll do is since I made a simple game, Let's try to do a time limit. So, let's do something really cool. So now, I'm gonna make a timer so that I'll, I'll allocate some time. And then every time the player find, searches a location, the timer, he loses time. And if he runs out of time before he manages to find his keys, it's game over. So now, Let's do that. So I'm printing out a message. You only have 30, uh, 10 minutes, let's say, to find your keys. So 
but let's do that. And I'll do a lot of time. And let's do it int time yeah, equals 10. So actually what I could do is that I'll have to make another attribute private int time time cost. So it's gonna spend a different amount of time to depending on what kind of object, what kind of furniture or location because you wanna do it to do to um to do like a, uh, you want to make the timer dynamic since some locations will take more time to look around than others. Like it's going to take less time to look around the TV than look around the sofa. So let's do it. And I'll do int timer time. This dot. Time, time cost equals time. And I'm going to do getter, another getter. Get the time cost public things get time return this dot time cost. So So now what I'll do is I'll I'll now set the amount of time it takes to search each object. So the table, let's say, it's gonna take one minute. It's very simple. Wooden chair. Let's do ten. Uh, let's, it's pretty quick. Let's do fifteen seconds. So zero point twenty five because there a quarter minute is fifteen seconds. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, armchair. Same thing. Quarter minute. Love seat. Let's do carpet. Carpet. It's gonna take half a minute. Thirty seconds. Uh, 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 lampshade. Flower pot. Ah, oh, twenty-five. Flower pot. Half a. Maybe let's do one minute because imagine if the keys are hidden inside the compost. Uh, long sofa, it's going to take, people are going to go crazy searching around the sofa, so let's do three minutes, a staggering four minutes. Imagine if the keys are lost there, that would be really bad. Short sofa, let's do three minutes because it's shorter. Around the TV, it's half a minute. Alright, so now, every time I search the location, I am going to subtract the time, the the uh, the time cost from time left to actually and uh, that location. No, 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 no. I'm gonna now time cost time left. Subtract that from. Objects. Why did I? Okay. Got get time. So subtract get the time cost of that object from that. And then uh, time left, do the same thing because even if you find the keys, you'll still spend the time. Okay, I'm almost done here. And now for the amazing part, so yeah. And I'll print out 
before before the list. Before that, I put the list. I'm gonna do. You have. I'm gonna give a message. You have plus time left. Plus, 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 plus. Minutes. the message messaging more dynamic so let's do if because I want to print a different message if there's less if there's a really short amount of time left the time left is less than equal to two minutes then I'll print out this this out I'll copy this. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> Imagine if there's like a timer that you really have to get to work, but you lost your car keys and this is like a time choke. Really pressure time, time constraint. That would be a really bad time constraint. Okay, now, what I'll do is that I will also add an or condition because either that the found, either that the, there are two count outcomes to exit the loop. It has to be either that the player has found the keys or the timer has run out. So timer, time left is less than or equal to zero. And those are the two conditions that will exit the loop. And at the end, I'll do an if statement. If time left is less than, to, is less than or equal to zero, print out, sys out, you have unsuccessfully, I don't know how you spell successfully, but I'll just leave it like that, unsuccessfully found the keys in time. Your boss will be mad at you. Okay. And so an else, final else, print out, print this out. And yeah. So now let's play the game. Let's do it. Ouch. I should have to do a double. It is not an int. It should be double because it has decimals. Double. Time is also double. And double. So now it should work now. Run, let's run it. Okay, now. Okay, now, blah, 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 you want to go outside, but somehow you manage to lose your car keys once again. You wonder how you keep losing your keys like it's your normal. You have 10 minutes. You only have 10 minutes to find your keys. It's time to find them. Okay, 10 minutes left. Where you want to go? Enter a number to search table. You're searching around the table. The keys are nowhere to be found. Nine minutes. Oh my gosh. Let's do wooden chair. Quick, eight minutes. Ah, uh, ooh, let's do the lampshade. Oh, seven minutes. No, the keys are not to be found. Oh, yeah. Let's do carpet. Oh, keys. I look around, no keys. Oh, no. I have to look at the sofa. I have to look around the sofa. Long sofa. Ouch. 
Let's do it. Oh my gosh. No. You searched around at this long sofa. The keys are nowhere to be found. You have two minutes left. One. Hurry. Oh no. I'm gonna suck. Let's do TV. Oh no. The keys are nowhere to be found. One minute. I only have one more location. Lampshade. Uh, six. Oh no. Oh shoot. I think I still, I'm still in the loop. So that's, it's, I'm still in the table. And it has to exit the loop. I am. Oh, it has to be greater than zero, so let's try to find, let's try to manage to find your keys this time. Okay, let's do, let's search the sofa, and no keys, manage if I, if, if I have, if I have run out of time, let's check, two minutes, hurry, lampshade, one minute, lampshade again panicky and then armchair and I don't know why it does not exit so oh it is end because you want you want one of the, the conditions to be false so that is, imagine if you lose. So, the table. I found the keys. Yay. Let's try it. What happens if I don't find the keys in time? Six. Let's keep on searching the long sofa like you're searching the same thing. And you have searched around. The keys are nowhere to be found. You have unsuccessfully found the keys in time. And then the message here, and now let's play one more time before I end this video. So now let's run it. Okay. Let's play a real game. So I'm gonna, you have to go, you want to go outside, you lost your keys, you wonder how you keep losing your keys like it's your normal. I got 10 minutes. 10 minutes, love seat, let's try to search that. Nowhere to be found, let's try the carpet. I go down and I found the keys, so amazing. Now we could drive inside your house. So I guess this is the game. So this is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you've gotten your tingles. Comment down below if you want me to continue coding this game in which I'll make a new version, which contains multiple rooms with multiple furniture. And so comment down below and I'll make 10 likes. If 10 likes, if the video gets 10 likes, I'll make another follow up on this program. And also subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more coding content.